This morning, we wanted to take a deeper dive into the test results. Denver 7 Social Equity reporter Micah Smith joins us this morning. And Micah, looking at the numbers, you found some achievement gaps widen between white students and students of color. Brian and CB, several educators I talked to told me they're not surprised by the CMAS scores. This is something they've been expecting and trying to combat since the very beginning of the pandemic. Let's take a look at some of these numbers. This year, less black and Hispanic students took the test. In the English language assessment, white students scored about 25 to 33 percent higher than black and Hispanic students. In math, white students scored 21 to 26 percent higher than black and Hispanic students across grade levels. After the state released the testing results, I reached out to two local organizations that provide extra resources and help for students from underserved communities. Tanika Ship, the executive director of Education for Collaborative Healing Initiatives within Communities, or Chic, says testing should not have been a priority this year. And Savine Nathan, CEO of Minds Matter Colorado, says this is an opportunity to look at long-term solutions to the achievement gap. We're talking about students, parents and families and even our educators who went through a traumatic full year. I know students went through at least four different hybrid ways of learning. Systemic inequities were just exact exacerbated during the pandemic, right? Um, access to technology and internet. Uh, um, parents who are working multiple jobs that put them in high risk of exposure. The pandemic just showed us how much work we have to do, kind of pull us back a few steps um, and reemphasize the, re the need for systemic change. According to the state, CMAS scores will be used to help the state decide how to use school funding to help schools and students make learning gains during the pandemic. Brian. All right. Thank you, Mike.